Welcome back to Golf the Beer is winning what's in the bag, where today we're celebrating Matt McCarthy's win at the 2024 Black Desert Championship. Congratulations to him on his first PGA Tour win. Just came off the Corn Ferry Tour, playing some really good golf, and uh, you know, yeah, got his first win, punched his ticket to the Masters and a bunch of other tournaments. Matt is a Ping staff member, so most of the clubs you're going to talk about here are going to be Ping. And we'll start off with the driver, and the driver is the Ping G430 LST. This is the lower launching, lower spin model, a little bit more neutral start line, a little bit more kind of neutral bias compared to the other G430 drivers in the lineup. His is listed as a 10.5 degree head, but the hosel setting is set to flat and the big minus position. So this usually makes the head more flat, promoting a little bit more of a fade bias type uh, shot, and it actually reduces the loft by one degree. Now, it should be a 9.5 degree head, but Ping actually lists it, lists it as an 8.5 degree head. So I'm not sure if the head is digitally lofted and maybe it's something lower than 10.5. Ping will do that with tour drivers or even drivers that, that you might like a consumer can get. So Ping does list it as actual loft of 8.5. The rear wet weight on that is actually set to neutral, and it is shafted up with a Fuji Kuro Ventus Blue 6X. So this is the original Ventus Blue from 2018. It comes in at about 65 grams, and it's a mid-launch, low-spin shaft. In 3-wood, he goes a little bit older. We're going with the Ping G410 3-wood. So this is uh, from 2019, I believe. It's a 14.5 degree head uh, printed on it, so that's the stock loft on it. And his hosel setting on this one is set to just neutral. Uh, when you look on there, you can see the, the little circle is a little bit different. That's the left-handed adapter. has some kind of extra slash marks in it to differentiate from a right-hand adapter. It is shafted up with a Fujikura Ventus Blue 7X. So this is a 70-gram version. Again, mid-launch, low spin, 77 grams and 3.1 degrees of torque. His next fairway wood in the bag is the, of course, very popular Ping G430 Max 7 wood. So high lofted fairways have been all the rage. This is a 21 degree head, but his, the hosel setting is set to small minus. So small minus should be standard lie angle and minus one degree. So it should be playing at 20 degrees. This is shafted up with a Fuji Kuro Ventus, but this time the event is black, 8X. So this is 85 gram, the low launch, low spin, little firmer profile uh, shaft in that model range. And it is the 2000 kind of 18, 19 version. We moved to his irons, and he is playing the Ping Blueprint S irons in four through pitching wedge. The Ping Blueprint S are the kind of forged cavity back irons that have really caught fire on tour. You see them in a lot of bags, get that great forged feel, a little bit of forgiveness with the extra perimeter weighting and slightly longer blade length, but it has very little offset and a fairly thin top line. These are shafted up with True Temper Dynamic Gold 120 X100s. So a little bit lighter, the X100 in standard dynamic gold comes in at about 130 grams. These are about 120 grams in the X100 flex, and they're lower launch, lower spin as well. We move into wedges, and his wedges are all ping, and the first one is the Ping Glide Forge Pro. So these are a little bit more compact heads, a little bit smaller, uh, but they are forged, good feel to them. He's playing the 50.10 S-Grind, so standard sole, a little bit more width, great for full shots. And it's kind of a raw finish. All of his are. And it's shafted up with a True Temper Dynamic Gold Tour Issue S400. As we know with the S400, I feel like we talk about it every week. About 132 grams, kind of that lower launch, lower spin, a little heavier, uh, while still being a little softer for those partial shots. His sand wedge is the same Ping Glide Forge Pro in a 5410S. Uh, again, a raw finish on this. And the 5410S grind, again, the S grind, great for full shots. In the sand wedge, it does have a little bit of trailing edge relief, so you can open that face a little bit and play it uh, higher lofted, as well as have a, a bunch of bounce on the bottom for shots out of the bunker. This is, again, shafted up with a True Temper Dynamic Gold Tour Issue S400. And then we move on to his lob wedge. <coughs> excuse me, his lob wedge. And the lob wedge is a 66 T grind. So six degrees of bounce in the T grind. T grind's got much more aggressive uh, trailing edge heel toe relief, so you can really open that face up. Play higher lofted shots without that leading edge coming off the ground. Raw finish on this also, and it is shafted up the exact same True Temper Dynamic Gold Tour Issue S400. And again, the S, the Tour Issue versions, just really, really weight sorted. So they're within 0.5 grams, plus or minus. So if a shaft weighs 110 grams, uh, or with this one, 132 grams, the heaviest one will be 132.5, and the lightest one will be 131.5. So very, very tight tolerances on those shafts. And then we get into putter, and his putter there is a Ping PLD Tyne C. 
So the PLD is, of course, the custom milled program. They mill out all these putters uh, from steel, and the tine is the kind of fang version. So two long fangs that run along the uh, the outside. His, <laughs> excuse me, is center shafted. So the shaft goes right into the center. And those uh, center shafted putters are great for players who, you know, uh, like a lot of feel and like to kind of, you know, feel and manipulate the face through the putting strokes. They know as they open or as they rotate the face back closed, they're going to get a real good sense of where that face is throughout the whole stroke. Uh, this one here has kind of a raw finish as well. Uh, it's very good. It has a nice patina, very brown look to it. Has his initial stamped on uh, on the backside. Uh, and it's also in the cavity. You can see actually where the shaft enters the club head, which is pretty interesting. Uh, this one here is gripped up with a Super Stroke Zenergy Pistol GT 2.0 putter grip. So he does uh, have uh, a slightly larger grip there with the Pistol 2.0. Uh, and then we finish off with Ball. He's playing the TaylorMade TP5. So the standard TP5 ball there. And the grips on his clubs are all Lampkin Crossline cords. So extremely, uh, extremely rough. Uh, the cord on there for moisture management, tons of traction. They do look like they're built up. I'm not exactly sure how built up they are, but you can see there that the uh, the, the grip kind of flares up uh, over the tape, so they are built up a little bit. But that is Matt McCarthy's winning What's in the Bag from the 2024 Black Desert Championship. Again, congratulations to him. Huge win. Uh, opens up a ton of doors for him uh, in the next two years. And, uh, yeah, that is all we have for today. Join us next week when we take a look at the next winner's What's in the Bag.